In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to debug with uh, GDB in Emacs. First, uh, let's uh, open the source code in Emacs. And uh, open the source code into columns. So this is the insertion sort. The sort is intentionally, intentionally written obscure for debugging. We can run the source code like this, pass in five parameters. The output will be the sorted result of the input argument. Look at the main function at the line 56. The main function first get uh, the argument and then process the data and then print the result. Get argument. Get, um, get arguments, uh, get all the, all the arguments, put the, the number of arguments into an x, and the, 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 the actual arguments in x array, in x is the number of elements in x array, process data at line 58, uh, get each data from x array, insert into y array, uh, the y array is the result array. The number of the current number of elements in y array is in y. So let's look at uh, process data here. Uh, the process data is is simple. It just get uh, each data from x array. Uh, then insert the data, call the insert function, which insert the data into y array. Insert function at line 26. If there is no value in y array, then put the value uh, at index 0. Otherwise, uh, we need to find the insert location for the new data. And uh, we may need to move back some data to make space for the new value. Then after we make space, we put the new value into the current position. We move the data by scoot over. Scoot over is at line 20, which move all the data after the current position. The current position is the J position to make data, to make space for the new value. So let's look at uh, presentation to have more clear, to, to make it more clear. We call the insert sort, pass in five parameters, get arguments, get all the arguments into x array. So in this case, in x equals to five, there are five values in x array. At first, in y equals to zero, there is no value in y array. So uh, first, uh, we insert uh, the process data function insert each value one by one into y array. So first insert a new value equals to five, in equals to 12. Since there is no, no value in y array, uh, the, the program just put the new array into the first location. So before insert ny equals to zero, after insert ny equals to one. Then insert the second value in x array. And the new value equals to five, second value. So in order to insert the five into an array, 12 need to move to next location so that we can put a five into the first location so that the data in y array is sorted. And then insert the, uh, the, the third value, 19. 19 is greater than any value in y array. So 19 is uh, inserted in the last location. And then process data insert the fourth value, 6, into y array. So the insert function first uh, check, uh, uh, compare 6 with 5. 6 is greater than 5 then compare 6 with 12, 
six is less than twelve. So, so we so so that uh, the function called a scoot over with the parameter with the current position equals to one. Scoot over move for all the values from the current position, uh, from the from the last to the current position, move back one position. Then insert the new value into current position. So now let's start uh, to debug with GDB. Now run GDB and uh, open main windows. And first, uh, let's run with two arguments. Twelve five. The program is running, but uh, it's not exit, and uh, there is no output here. So the program is in an infinite loop. Let's break the program. Can't you see? Can't you see? And uh, we can see the program stop stop at uh, uh, line forty six. Let's see the x array and y array display the uh, values so we can see x array there are two values y array there is no value ny equals to z equals to one that's not right let's see what happened uh, step into insert function and uh, ny equals to 1. If ny equals to 0, then we are going to run these two lines of code here. So let's uh, step. OK, now ny equals to 0. That's uh, strange. So this uh, line of code, line 28, is not uh, supposed to change the value of ny. And uh, look again, we, we see that uh, we miss one. Uh, equal sign here. So save the change. Make the compile the code again and run again. So we can see the program exit successfully, and the output here in output win output window, uh, which should be five twelve. So this is not right. So let's uh, set a breakpoint. Uh, set a breakpoint at the line 40, 46 and uh, breakpoint 46. And then uh, run again. So here is a breakpoint sign at the line 46. And we can also see uh, a breakpoint that we've just added in the breakpoint window here. So run again. So we can see that uh, the program is stopped here. We can see it from the uh, stack frames here. The main function called the process function, and uh, the programming is stopped at the process function at line 46. OK, let's uh, step into, let's uh, step over this insert function by next. So let's uh, display the values of X array and Y array. And also display in Y. So now let's step again. OK, we can see that uh, we've successfully added uh, 12 into Y array. Now we are going to add 5 into Y array. So let's see what happened and why it's not uh, output uh, correctly. Step. OK, step. OK, let's add a uh, display this value, yj, here. OK, yj equals to 0. So now let's step again. 
okay now yj equals to 12 and uh, uh, new y equals to 5 so we are going to run this code here now we are going to scoot over the scoot over function uh, move 12 to index 1 and then uh, we can set the new value at uh, index 0 of y array to 5 so let's step into uh, scoot over so here uh, this function is supposed to move 12 to next location so uh, in the first loop k should be equals to 1 n y equals to 1 and uh, in this case k equals to 0 that's not right so we need to delete this minus 1 and save for the change and uh, make again and run again okay this is disable breakpoint and continue run okay here uh, we can see the program stop here there is a small yellow triangle here and look at the stack frames, stack frame window. Uh, main function called the process data, called insert, called scoot over, and uh, the program is st stop here. And uh, also look at this window, locus window. K equals to 976. That's not correct. K should be less than, at least uh, less than 10. So let's uh, look at here k from ny to k greater than j that's okay and k minus minus so this is not correct this should be minus minus save the change click again run again okay so now we can see the result is good. We input two arguments, 12 and 5. And output result is 5, 12 in the output window. Now let's uh, test with the more arguments. Run 12, 5, 19. Run again and look at the result window. The result should be 5, 12, 19, not 0. So let's uh, see what happened in the insert function when the new value is 19. Let's set a, a breakpoint at line 28 when new value is 19. So breakpoint line 28 if new value equals to 19. Okay, and then run again. Okay, we can see uh, the programming stop here. So, okay. So, uh, let's step uh, over here. So now the new value is equals to 19 and uh, okay let's um, remove the display and uh, display uh, new okay. display okay so now let's step over so here uh, yj equals to 5 new value equals to 19 so this is the force and uh, step again and also here step again still force so you see the insert uh, the, the function of insert is not run so 19 is not inserted uh, anyway uh, because 19 is uh, greater than both the five any value in y array is a uh, is greater so in this case we still need to insert 19 into the last position of y array 
uh, we add a line of code here in y equals to new value okay save the change make again run again uh, disable breakpoint we added a conditional breakpoint continue run okay let's see the result window here so the result is okay it's good now let's test with more more arguments 5, 12, 19, 6, 1 okay the result is right it's good so we have fixed all the bugs in the program